There is one person missing, someone who has seen more bad than good from us, and who has never been scared off. Her tenacity I admire, and I wish to welcome her into the fold, along with her child. Amanda Clark, Charlotte's half-sister. Amanda, please join us. Please. To my abductor, and to anyone who thinks they can harm this family again, make no mistake, you will fail. Understood. Excuse me. This concludes the press conference. As this. Tell me. Amanda, damn it. Your mother tried to kill you. That's a lie. I wish it was. And no matter how much hatred you harbor toward me, it is the absolute truth! Martha! Someone call 911! What happened? What happened? Oh my god! Amanda! 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 Yes, we need an ambulance right away. Hang in there, Amanda. Help is on the way. All I can think about is how awful I was to her. The last things I said. Jack, don't do that to yourself. Code blue, room three. Code blue. Code blue, room three. Amanda. Give us a minute, okay? Yeah. I grew up around a lot of crappy families. All different kinds of messed up people, but the one thing they all had in common, they lied to each other. We're not gonna be those people. <sighs> You're right. The Ryan brothers aren't good guys. They rigged it so they could buy into the bar and use our slip to move drugs through here. They're the ones that put your dad's friend in the hospital. Which is why I need you to take Carl and get out of here tonight. Jack, we're a family. I'm not gonna leave you here to fend for yourself. I won't be. I reached out to my buddy on the force. He's oh. gonna bust him. Look, they'll never know I was involved. I know it's not your style to run away from a fight, but I invited these people into our lives. I need you to trust me to take them out. I do trust okay. you. I can't tell you how much I hate this. I know. Me too. I love you. I knew this was a mistake. The only mistake being made here is yours. Father's friend or not, Matt Duncan is a murderer. If you don't call him out, Carl loses his dad and I lose my husband. Assuming I didn't get to call you that before they lock you up. <gasps> Hello? Amanda, uh, hey, it's me. Jack, you okay? What happened? The police found drugs and a gun on the Amanda. I'm Jack. in jail. Oh my God. I don't want you to worry. Everything's gonna be okay. Hey. I gotta go. Time's up, man. I love you. Come on, let's go. So, you're saying the cops are the ones who tipped off Nate and Kenny? It's the only explanation. They knew the police were coming, so they moved all the drugs onto the boat to set me up. And I played right into their hands. I'm calling Emily for bail money. I don't want her involved in this. Fine, no one then. You're not spending another night here. I don't want to drag any of our friends into this mess. Jack, okay? this is no time to be stubborn. Whoever gets us the bail money will get it back. No prosecutor's going to believe for one second those drugs belong to you. And if they trace the registration to the gun, they're going to find out. I was used to kill Kenny and Nate's father six years ago. And it belonged to my dad. So, um, this whole setup is what? Payback for what happened to their father? You can't do anything against the Ryans. They will hurt you. We're Declan. We're Carl. Amanda, promise me. How much for the 9 millimeter? 
All yours for 350. This is worth five times that. At least. My lucky day. Let's get this party started. What do you want? To give you a chance. Which is more than you deserve. Oh, yeah? Chance to what? To get out of here before you bleed. Either you and your brother pack it up and leave tonight. Or what? Hmm? Or are you going to wish you'd taken me up on my offer? Amanda? I've been calling you. Excuse us. Yeah. Ashley, what are you doing here? Jack's upstairs. He's waiting for you. Mr. Grayson here made some kind of deal with the court. He dropped the charges? No, uh, my co-chair on the uh, on the Liberty Project is friendly with the judge, so I just called him a favor, and I asked the judge to set a lenient bail. What made you change your mind? Oh, well, I don't know. You know, as a citizen of some influence, I felt it was my duty to clean up police corruption and drug trafficking in my own backyard. And as a father, I was concerned about my daughter and her sister. Cut the crap. What's in it for you? Amanda. No, 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 that's all right. She has every right to be suspicious about my motives. And yes, Miss Clark, I came to my senses and realized that your predicament is my opportunity. Mr. Grayson has decided to run for public office and I suggested that helping you and cleaning up police corruption in Montauk will be beneficial towards restoring his public profile. That is, of course, if you'll accept my help. And my apology. Can we get a couple minutes? Of course. Yeah. Take all the time you need. Why wouldn't you ask me for help? Jack insisted we keep it inside the family. I had to honor that. And so you went to Conrad? Amanda, whatever you need Jack to believe about you, Charlotte is not your sister any more than Conrad is her father. The Graysons were and always will be the enemy. Take this to the bank and get a cashier's check for whatever amount you owe him plus interest for his trouble. Jack won't take your money. Make him. Amanda, trust me, the Graysons always have a hidden agenda. Thank you. Emily? Are you here? You're selling your share of the stowaway back to Jack, now. Well, as I explained to your fiance, my share is not for sale. You couldn't be more wrong about that. It'll work because he trusts me. How can you be so sure? That's impossible. Because I know David's deepest secret. Where did the you wife? get this? It's not important. The fact that I have it is. So it has been you all this time. I haven't even begun to make you and your family suffer for what they've done. So, this is how it's gonna go. You get your sorry ass back to the stowaway and tell Jack that at the second look, the numbers no longer make sense to you. Or that you've had a change of heart or whatever lie it is you need to tell him. As long as when you walk out of that bar, Jack is once again the sole owner of the one thing his father was able to leave his sons. And after you've apologized and wished him well, you never, ever utter the name Porter again. 
Or I promise I will take a wrecking ball to every bit of this pathetic excuse for a life you've chosen. Girl is in possession of a laptop that belongs to me. Now, if you can return it intact, I'll see to it that your own ambitions are rewarded. Far beyond your current ability to imagine. Uh, Mr. Ryan, I will need assurances that she has neither the intention nor the ability to ever come after me again. Don't worry about it. She won't. <laughs>